just sum up what happened this past weekend? <laughs> yeah, um, basketball wise or just life wise? <laughs> 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 no, I thought, um, you know, I two games here at home over the weekend. You want to um, you want to play well, obviously. I thought we did at times, but um, really starting starting Friday. Um, you know, I think the the uh, the old rule of youth sports, right, is is um, my brother always teaches these when he, he coaches all these youth teams. And number one is never settle le for less than your best. And number two uh, is always have fun. And number three is give a lot of high fives, which is a great rule. Um, we didn't do those three things very well on Friday. I thought we might have settled for a little less than our best. Um, and at times, I think it didn't look like we're having fun. So, uh, got to get back to doing that for sure. Those are the reasons that you play anyway, right? Those, that's why you start playing sports is is to get out there and compete at a high level and just enjoy it and being out there with your teammates. And um, it's hard to it's hard to give a lot of high fives and not have fun when you're doing that. So whether you're walking around the office or whether you're on the court, <laughs> it usually cheers you up a little bit. So I thought Saturday we did that a lot better. You know, just had fun playing and competed better. And, um, we're a really good game on Saturday. Um, but I think that's the that's the thing that I think has been frustrating for our team is is you can't have that. You, you don't want to come out and feel like you settled for less than your best late in the season. And I, and I think that was a little frustrating on Friday night. So um, good to see it corrected and competing better on Saturday. But, that, um, you know, now heading on the road, finishing up the season. It's, first of all, it's hard to believe that the season's kind of wrapping up already. You know, it's it's uh, feels like it's coming come quickly. Um, but playing two of the better teams in the in the league this week um, at Northern State, at Moorhead State, um, the two teams that we had really good games with here, um, down to the wire in both those games. Um, so want to try to find a find a way to finish up strong, you know, and, and, and uh, compete well on the road. We've been pretty good on the road as of late. So got to find a way to do that again. And, uh, get out there and, and have some fun this weekend and, and just get back to playing our best basketball. How important is it just to get back to playing well here coming up with the tournament coming up? Yeah, for sure. You want to feel like you, you gave it a great effort, right? You want to feel like you, you got, uh, I think, as you go through the course of the season, there's always the ups and downs. And it's it's interesting because you, you, the, the flow of your – individual players may not always match up exactly with the flow of your team, right? So I think like Trevor had a great uh, senior day, Kyle had a great senior day. I think those guys are playing well over the weekend. Um, and, and Trevor really had a great weekend for us, even though we didn't play great on Friday, he was good as well. So um, he, we've got kind of those older guys that are kind of playing with that urgency that you see at the end of the year. And then some of the, some of the younger guys are battling a little bit to find consistency. Um, you know, and it's it's trying to find get everybody on that upward swing here at the end, um, and get everybody competing and, and feeling like, um, hey, let's let's, um, you know, sometimes I think guys put a little extra pressure on themselves, and that's why and those young guys are doing that a little bit, um, and then it, they were better again on Saturday, so good to see those guys kind of doing that, but trying to find a way this week to just make sure, hey, let's get back to simplifying things. You know, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, play hard, have fun. Um, and let's finish up with, with uh, let's try to get some momentum on Friday and Saturday. And uh, next, really a week from, from tomorrow, right, is the tournament play. And, and we're in a situation now where we have to, if we want to play more basketball, we got to win every game uh, from here on. you got to earn it from now on. Um, and our guys certainly want to do that. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to take a great effort because uh, we're going to be on the road for, for the weekend. We're going to be on the road next Wednesday. So um, got to be ready to go. Uh, and find a way to knock off uh, some of those top teams, and then as, as you look at it, whoever we play, it'll be it'll be teams that um, really we we've, we've beaten or we've been ahead in the last minute in. So um, that should give us a little bit of confidence. But at the same time, you got to come out and find a way to make sure you do that, and make sure you you've, um, put yourself in a position to win those games. And that's not going to be an easy task, but it's certainly something that we can get done if, if we play well. It seemed like a theme from this last weekend was guys getting in foul trouble, but most of them were hustle fouls. What is your give and yeah. take on Yeah, that's a good a question, ball. too, you know, because you want to see guys flying around and you want to see guys being aggressive, um, you know, and, and if you look up at the end of the day and, um, you know, you, the whole game you've got like two or three fouls, you're thinking, man, we didn't even compete at all there. We weren't even sticking our nose in there and mixing it up and we weren't even chasing loose balls or trying to contest shots. And 
so there is a little bit of there's a little bit of um, you know good that goes in that as well. But at the same time, you got to do it smart, right? So you've got to make sure that you're um, you know playing more with your feet and with your body, not reaching, not being handsy, uh, because we did have a lot of guys with foul trouble that are maybe um, sitting a little bit more out of rotation and stuff. And so hopefully we can get get that aggressiveness, but a little bit smarter aggressiveness and. And I think hopefully we can get back to healthy as well and get our get a full roster here down the stretch. We had everybody in practice yesterday for the first time in, in about two weeks, um, and and I think we're moving that way to, to having guys at 100, uh, percent and that would be a good thing too. Uh, I mean, obviously we have a couple guys out for the season, but the guys that are uh, able to play now, we've got everybody back on the court, so um, that should help us a little bit too. Get back into normal rotations and, and things like that. I know you don't look at the standings, but will you give it a peek coming into this weekend, or when will you look at it? Yeah, the no, I just had to take a peek because we have to s start making travel plans for. Uh, know we're going to be on the road, um, so we've got to take, try to take a, be ready for a road game next week. So um, the big thing now is play well and try to win. Uh, I mean, obviously you're doing that the whole time, but try to win this weekend for the momentum sake of it, because we'll be feeling feeling pretty good if we play well against two hard places to play this weekend: Northern and, and at Warren, Warhead State. So um, I think. Th the, the thing now is let's let's build some momentum into that tournament game. Um, let's work on some things uh, going into that tournament game. And it uh, looks like more than likely we'll be at Sioux Falls. There's a few things to, to be um, determined yet, depending on how we play and how they play and all that stuff. Um, but like I said, that's a team we've, we've already played and had a, had a great game down on the wire with and we're able to get a victory again. So uh, let's build some momentum. And, and then uh, on the bus ride back Saturday night, make sure we know who we're playing. And, and, uh, We've got our other coaches starting to take a peek at a few of the options for down the road this week so we can get some advanced scouting done and, and be ready to go no matter what happens. What makes the opponents this weekend so difficult? Yeah, I think um, I think you've got teams that, that can spread the floor with shooters, um, and that's a, that's a, that's makes it always makes it difficult. But then they just they move the ball so well um, on the offensive end. They share the basketball and make you guard for 40 minutes. Um, and, and I think any team... When, when we do that, we're really hard to guard. Whoever does that, if you do that, they're, you're really hard to guard. But these two teams do that pretty consistently for 40 minutes. Um, and then just, uh, you know, I think they've got a, a will to defend, and they make second efforts, third efforts on the defensive end, fly around. And, um, again, if you, if you do that, you're probably going to be successful. And when we've done that this year, we've been successful, just trying to get that a little bit more consistently from our guys as well. So, But two, thing, two teams, I think, that do a lot of those uh, – those things that add up, uh, maybe that aren't in the stat sheet, but they do those things really well uh, to make sure that they're successful.